Yeah, I am playing Neopets, okay? Leave me alone. If there's one thing I'm bad at, it's letting go of my childhood. And if there's one thing I love, it's looking at old internet websites that have been completely gutted by Flash. Enter the wonderful world of Neopia. We are on the Neopets home screen right now. As you can see, these are all of my children. These are the people that I love dearly and hold close to my heart and have the biggest friendships I've ever had with. I'm gonna take you on a tour of all of them real quick because you're here and you have to listen to me and I think you'll want to hear about them, okay? If you don't know anything about Neopets, I'll try to explain a little bit along the way so you won't be completely lost. First off, we have Krusey, my pastel drag queen, Drake. If it sounds like I'm speaking gibberish right now, don't worry, I am not actually speaking in an elvish language. These are all real words and I have to say them every day to myself in the mirror and it's horrifying. Next we have Forensics, which is my Halloween usual based on Dexter from the TV show Dexter. Isn't that exciting? Didn't you think I was going to say a completely different name? Nope, the TV show is called Dexter. I have to make everything about my interests or I'll die. I'll die a horrible death and you will have to clean me up off the floor, so I don't think you want that, now do you? He's my pride and joy, he's my baby. Next we have Heartsick, which is a Valentine's Day Aisha, and if you don't remember Valentine's Day pets from your childhood, you're not alone and you're not having a Mandela effect. The Valentine's Day pets just came out on February 14th, which is when this baby's birthday is. She's very cool, very unique, and nobody will ever be able to copy her ever. And by that I mean she's not like other girls. Next we have Cowdens, who's a cloud cow and the only remnant from the early days of my personal Neopets journey because everything else had been switched around, I have commitment issues. Cowdens was found in the pound once upon a time and I made her into a cloud cow and maybe she'll become burlap someday, but right now she is beautiful and beautiful and beautiful. So there's that. Minyelle is also from the pound, I just don't know what I'm doing with her yet. She's very beautiful to me, she's a plushy Nemo, and I love her name, but I don't know how to dress her. She just kind of looks like she's at the wrong party. She looks like she showed up for a Halloween party, but it was actually a child's birthday. I just can't look at her right now, but I love her so dearly, I promise you. If you watch House of the Dragon and are good at reading through people's typos and texts, you may recognize this name. This is Rhaenyra from House of the Dragon. She's currently trading fodder, but she is a royal girl, Bori. Unholy is a custom based on something I'm not going to discuss right now. And last but not least, we have my actual pride and joy of Neopets, my everything, my stroke of luck. This is Dolce Bella Luna. You may be thinking that her name differs quite a bit from my other Neopets, and that's because she was not mine originally. I found her in the pound, and she is 20 years old. She was made in the fifth year of Neopets. It was a genuine miracle that I found this woman. I don't know how she got there. I don't know who put her there, but she is all the way up in her Battle Dome stats. And if you don't know what Battle Dome stats are, it is for the Battle Dome, surprisingly. It's like Pokemon battling, but for nerds. And by nerds, I mean me. This is the only type of battling I enjoy because it makes me a lot of money in the game, and I will explain that to you later. There's also Blanket, who is currently a sketch float Sam. She's a lab rat, and if you don't know what that means, again, I will explain it to you later because I'm not doing any kind of cosmetology tests on her, don't worry, I would never. I don't want to keep her that color and I don't want to keep her that species, but right now we're just zapping her for fun, so you know what? Also, before we get to the meat and potatoes of this video, which in this case would make my stomach hurt, so it's probably just like a Belvita bar of the video, I have a Flash plugin called Ruffle, which allows me to see a lot of the Flash that would otherwise be lost on Neopets. If you're going to play Neopets in 2023, I highly recommend that you get a Flash plugin so that you can see all of the good stuff that you're missing. So the first place I'm going to head on over to is Jelly Neo, which has a list of Neopets dailies. If you don't know what dailies are, they're just like dailies in Animal Crossing. They are things that you can do every single day and they regenerate in the next morning or after 12 hours or something. Jelly Neo is also really cool because it has all of the new Neopets news, so if there's new castles in the NC Mall or something, it's all there. New colors for pets, new pets in general, I've never been there to see that. But there's usually games like Anchor Management, which I will be playing right now. I started playing Neopets in 2022. I was not a nostalgia person. My best friends were playing Neopets and I decided to join it and I fell down a rabbit hole, hell hole, whatever you want to call it. It was not good and I cannot get out. So everything pet-wise that I've shown you so far has been done in seven months. Every daily on Jelly Neo usually gives you an item or some money, but I really don't think it's anything to squawk about. I don't think it's a great amount of money, and I never get any items that are fantastic, so you can skip them if you want to, but I would say they make the game a lot better, and they give you a routine to return to every day, so I would say they're fun to do and they're worth doing it, especially if you're going to collect avatars or something, or you're looking for a collection of certain items. Unfortunately, with anchor management today, I just got a really shitty item, but whatever, it's fine. You win some, you lose some. Here's Apple Bobbing, which has Bart, and he haunts my nightmares. I feel like he's gonna cut my face off and sew it on like Buffalo Bill. 
It puts a lotion on its skin, but he obviously does not hydrate. A silver apple is not good either. It's gonna give me absolutely no Neo points, and that's fine. That's okay. It's all fun and games here. It's all really fun. It's a fun game. Something about Bart is just so haunting to me. Sometimes he gives you creepy ass things too. He just gives you little creepy nuggets of information and I hate it. He makes me so uncomfortable. He's like a circus clown who just doesn't understand what the concept of a clown is. They just put him in the suit and send him out. I'm gonna go to my inventory though real quick. I always try and check when I'm doing my dailies to see how much something costs and it's not gonna cost anything. You're gonna see. But once in a blue moon, you might get something worth selling and you'll wanna put that in your shop and make money off of it. This is not one of those days. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this apple to the money tree, which if you're new on Neopets, you can actually get food for your pets for free from the money tree, and this is an edible item, so somebody can pick this up from the money tree later. Generosity, truly. And on this day, super generous. Very cool. Very cool and generous. I'm going to visit the bank next, which is where you can collect interest, because Neopets is much like real life, and you have to actually remember to do banking, which is horrifying. But Neopets is unlike real life, because it's a lot more interest than you'll ever get with your real money. It's very sad to think about, actually. I only have about 2 million in the bank right now, which may seem like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, I just spent a bunch of money when I was making heart sick, so it's not. Kim, there are people that are dying. Cold Sand Shrine, which is on screen right now, is a really good example, along with some of the other games that I'll be playing, of Neopet dailies that don't really give you anything good, or in this case, anything at all, because he screws me over every day and I want to get into a horrible fight with him, but he's already dead, so you know what? I guess he already lost, but you know what? I have sunk so much time into this game that I've lost too. We're even at this point. You're in the ground, and I spend precious hours of my life that I'll never get back playing the pet game. Some of these dailies I've genuinely never gotten anything good for, but there is a chance on almost all of them of getting a super expensive item, something that you'll need for a collection, etc, etc. I don't recommend skipping any of them, even if they make you irrationally mad. Once a week, you may want to spike God, and you'll have to deal with that, okay? You'll have to deal with that, and you'll have to either internalize it or go to therapy. There is a choice here. This is my once a week moment, actually, because Dolce Bella Luna lost health. She got hurt from this stupid tomb that I have to visit, that I'm told to visit, so now I have to go to the fairyland and get my shit healed up. I need you to understand that this game hates me. Even though I play it every single day, it hates me. Look at the accusatory language it's using against me, okay? I did nothing wrong. I would never do this to my child. I need you to understand, okay? We have to head over to fairyland again and get her healed up again. She has not been doing very well. She has been getting hurt every two seconds, and it makes me upset as a parent. As a parent? This fairy is constantly so rude to me. You can normally get between like full health to only three hit points and usually I'm on the low end of that, which is fantastic. Every day, every day I learn to deal with this, deal with this disappointment and it's upsetting, it really is. There's also a lot of new stuff that you may not recognize. If you haven't been on in a while, they brought back the old map that was taken away with Flash so you can see all of that cool animation there. I love the Neopets art style, it's fantastic. The fruits have disappointed me again, me when I look in the mirror every morning. But now we get to everybody's favorite freebie, which is Trudy's Surprise. Trudy's Surprise looks like a slot machine, but it's not. You get anywhere between, I think, 1,500 Neo points to 100,000 at the end of the month, which is great, especially if you're first starting out. You can get some Neo points every single day. There used to be more intense gambling on Neo pets, but they had to get rid of it, which is sad. Gambling isn't addictive, it's just really fun. That's all. That's all. It's not like I gamble away a lot of stuff on Neopets that would make me a lot of money. No, no. I would never do that. I'm too financially responsible for that. Not if my pets love me for it, okay? The rich Slorg here is also my child, my everything. I need to know how this Slorg got so rich. How did Trudy get so rich? Is Trudy like some kind of undercover Elon Musk type? What's wrong with you? I mean, if she is, at least she's redistributing the wealth. Look at her go. Trudy, where are you? And I'm so sorry. I cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. I'm looking for somebody wealthy. Like the Slorg. Like the Slorg. The Slorg will never treat you badly, okay? The Slorg has your best interest in his heart. He is your son too. You have adopted him by watching this video. Guess what? Surprise. This does involve child support though. Sorry. The Grundo plushie is also very near and dear to my heart. I don't know, he's just silent and gives me money. That's like the best thing that you could possibly get from anybody. That's the best. You know, you look at him for a moment, you give him a good amount of looking in the eye, and suddenly there's Neo points on the ground or an item or something. He is the only real bitch in this house. I feel bad that he was left here. Like, I would pick him up, but I think honestly this is working better for everybody. He seems to not want to be picked up. It's like wildlife. You don't want to disturb it. He's a national treasure, okay? The Grundo plushie is ABBA for Neopets. Did you ever think about that, huh? Tombola sucks. I've like never once had a good experience with Tombola, to be honest with you. I don't think whatever I get is going to be worth very much. Yeah. Sometimes Neopets likes to do this fun thing where it breaks and it makes the gameplay really exciting. 
I truly think this is the best way to play the game. When it breaks, it just gives you a little bit of a spice of life, you know? It's really fun. It makes things so much easier. The next thing I'm gonna do is go down to Fairy Quest, which I currently have a Fortune Fairy Quest cookie, which you have to pay real money for, but it was like, it was a dollar, okay? The fairy quests are great for battle dome and all that shit, but I honestly only want the rainbow fountain, which makes your pet change color to whichever color you choose. I don't think I'm gonna get that right now though. <laughs> oh my god. The one time I decide to stop complaining and start filming she's here, this is one of the fairies that can give you a dip in the rainbow fountain. I hate it here. I hate it here. She shows up just to spite me, I swear. I made a Blink-182 edit about this woman because I did miss her and I was so sorry. I don't think it's actually going to end up happening. I think this is just going to be a battle dome stat increase, but you know what? It would be really funny. It would be hilarious if it did happen, okay? And see if we can get the rainbow pool. I need this stupid quest, okay? I need to be able to paint Dolce Stealthy, please. I am begging anyone. Gray Fairy, don't you love me? Don't you love me? So normally I would use the shop wizard or the super shop wizard in this case to get something that I needed, but as you can see for fairy quests, you cannot do that. It just blocks you off. So I have to go and ask one of my friends on Discord and be like, please, can you take a minute out of your busy work day to get me a link for a mallard? And they always do. They're so nice to me. I love them. You can also go ahead and ask people on the fairy quest board and the neo boards, but I don't like talking to people I don't know that's scary. And thankfully, Vicky decided to help me out, so I got the link now. On neo pets, you basically buy items from other people, their shops that they own. Every shop is like a real person, unless it's in Neopia Central. If it's in the marketplace, it's a real person. That's what I should have said. But yeah, no, of course, I should have expected this. The rainbow fountain was way too much to ask. It's fine. You know what? We have one more chance to like get a good color change right now, and that's with the lab ray, which I will be taking you to now. The lab ray has a chance of changing gender, changing battle dome stats, and a very, very small chance of changing color, but it almost never does that. And for 3 million neo points, I kind of regret unlocking it, but whatever, we'll see if anything good comes out of it this time. It usually doesn't though, to be honest with you, so sorry, blanket, good luck. And uh, sometimes it changes the species and color, and you are stuck if you accidentally zap the wrong pet. Don't do this. Blanket's a yellow loop now. That's kind of cool. That's nice. Please don't zap any of the pets you love. I had crew C turn orange at one point, and I had to lie. The other thing I'm trying to do right now is the coincidence, which has a random event generator. So random events on Neopets just kind of pop up whenever they happen to everybody. You will get one once or twice a day usually, but they are random, so it could be more or less. It doesn't matter really. The coincidence has a minuscule, like tiny, tiny, tiny chance of awarding you something called a pet, pet, pet. Let me explain. So pets have pet pets, which are pets for your pets, and those pets can have pet, pet, pets. Are you with me? Are you asleep? yet? Are you looking at the Lord of the Rings movies and wishing you were watching those instead? So the pet pets can have pet pet pets, and I really want one of them that is a rosy maple moth because I'm a moth bitch until the end. I swear though, like look at this thing. I am not making anything up. This is my pride and joy. I need her, and she's 15 million neo points and I can't afford her, but I need her so badly. This is why I'm suffering every single day, all for her. It's like that Simpsons thing, all for her all for her. So the coincidence is a type of quest, which means I have to go pick up items like a little schoolboy looking for tiny chunks of change on the floor. And there's also her on the screen right- hey, hi. There are a lot of quests, but I honestly don't do most of them because most of them are a money sink, meaning you'll lose money on them instead of making any, and that's usually what happens with the coincidence too, but I'm looking for something very specific here, so I'm gonna keep doing it and losing a bunch of money on it. But if you're trying to get certain avatars and stuff, some quests can be fun or some quests will just make you cry and holler and scream. Also, something I really want to warn you about before you go to the coincidence on your own and accidentally mess things up, if you have the wrong pet, which has really good stats, sometimes it can get really messy up if you do the coincidence with that pet in there. Be safe, please. I'm begging you, don't fuck up. This man looks like VeggieTales Walter White. I will not lie to you. This is literally VeggieTales Walter White, but he's gonna hopefully give me my pet pet pet, so maybe it's fine. You know what? It's okay. It'll be okay. He's cooking. Let him cook. Let him cook. Though that random event up there just says that Tremaculous made a noise, so that means nothing happened. I wasted all of my money on that. It's fine. Everything's okay. We do, however, get to move on to the best part of Neopets, which is getting rich. I love money. I do. Except in real life. I don't love money as much because I don't have any, so there's nothing 
nothing to love there. It's like I'm not loving an invisible soulmate, you know what I mean? We are going to the Battle Dome, which is where if you have premium, you can battle Jet Sam Ace. Jet Sam Ace will give you these things called Nurk Mids, which are worth a lot of money, or you can put them in a vending machine to possibly get a paintbrush. Nurk Mid also sounds like some kind of horrifying amalgamation that Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory made, which would kill me on impact. It's genuinely a lot better of a long-term decision to sell these things, but I never do that because I love gambling them away and never winning anything. It's really terrible, and sometimes Jet Sam Ace also likes to do this thing where he doesn't give you any Nurk Mids at all and gives you nothing worth selling and you waste about 20 minutes. Another really exciting perk of Neopets is that sometimes you just get nothing. As you can see, I have to battle, these stats are really high, and sometimes I still end up losing, so you know what, whatever. Yeah, so this is not going very well so far, I'm getting almost nothing worth any kind of money, which also happens. I made Jet Sam Ace a funny little edit to Sleeping with Sirens because I was mad at him. Nobody is immune to me in the morning when I'm upset, okay? I am going to make a horrifying little thing in iMovie, that's what I'm gonna do. Sorry, Kellen Quinn, I love you. So I'm out of turns, and I got absolutely nothing while I was battling, literally nothing. I got one code stone, which will be in the somewhere between 20 to 30k vibe era. What? I don't know. It's late when I'm recording this, okay? It's really, it's late. It has 1pm on the screen, but like, I have to record the voiceover, so bleh. So I'm about to take some money out of my very scantily clad savings at this point, and <laughs> we're gonna buy an Urk Med so I can demonstrate what you can do with them. These things cost like a disgusting amount of money, which is why so many people sell them. We have to go to the shop wizard and type in Nurk Mid. It doesn't matter what Nurk Mid we're buying, really. All of them are the same. But they usually either give you gross food, a fairy bottle, or some kind of other Nurk Mid. They very rarely give you a paintbrush, but I like the thrill of thinking that it's there. That's why it's not a good idea. So much money. It's so much money to lose. <laughs> But we're gonna go over to Neopia Central and go to the Alien Aisha vending machine, which is where we're going to put all of this shit in and try our chances. You usually don't really win. You usually just genuinely don't really win. I'm sorry. I hate to say it. It's a really good fun idea. It's fun. It's a risk taker. And Kevin O Gaming did a really good video where he went through a bunch of Nurk mids and got really lucky. But usually you get gross food. Yeah. These don't really sell for anything at all unless you're collecting gross food for some reason, which I don't know why you would. Thankfully, we did get that one code stone from Jet Sam Ace, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in my shop, and this is how shops work. You get to decide your price. I usually go with the Super Shop Wizard lowest price because that makes it sell really quickly, and people like low prices, obviously. I feel like I'm explaining this like I'm, like, I think you're a toddler. I swear I don't. I bet you're very, very smart, and I love you, okay? Okay, I promise. It's currently going for 37000 and I like to be a little bit conniving, a little bit scandalous and put it very down low, a couple hundred down. Just a little bit of fun. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm saying. This feels like I'm on a mushroom trip and I'm trying to explain it to somebody. I'm sorry. The other thing I like to do in my Neopets dailies is go on the NC Mall board, which is the Neocash Mall. And if you don't know what the Neocash Mall is, it's where Neopets starts to become a slight problem. I swear I have not spent very much money, but this is where you can spend money. This is where I got that Fortune Fairy Quest cookie a while ago, and it is a lot. It will take a lot, but the NC Mall trading boards are basically where you can swap items from mystery capsules or old items that are no longer in the NC Mall. So sometimes I like to look through these and see what's on sale, see if people have any of my wishes or if I have anybody's wishes in general, and wishes are the items that you want. You can normally put them on a little list and everybody will be able to see them. My good, lovely friend Vicky has allowed me to show their ward as an example of NC trading. They are currently looking for an item for their custom revenge, which happens to be black and red fingerless gloves, which I respect more than anything. The Neo boards are honestly really nice. I tend to be less of a bitch on the Neo boards than in real life, so you know what? Good luck trading. Right here is Vicky's beautiful custom revenge that she's looking for items for, and all of this is done with HTML. It looks so good. It's amazing. You are Saint Vicky. I love revenge so much, genuinely one of the most beautiful customs I've ever seen. But if you were going through these boards, basically what you would do is copy paste this little highlighted impress open neo thing and put it into your browser, and this would bring you to the dress to impress website where you would find all of the neo pets clothes in the world and be able to make outfits for your pets, be able to customize them and show people what you want to trade and what you want to look for. So let's say Vicky was looking for this gothic bone chest piece, which is really cool and I love it, and somebody wanted their bat boyfriend, they could go ahead and trade them. And there's also a really cool tool called Owls where you can go on a Neopets pet page that somebody has customized and see what the value in relation to everything else for your items are. 
I spend a lot of time on these boards and everybody is really friendly and Vicky is really friendly. I love you Vicky, thank you so much for being my little lab rat here. I highly recommend it, it's really easy to break into if you do want to start Neo Cash trading for items for custom Neo pets. It's easy. So right now I have a tab open for a pet that I'm going to create called Venotomy. If you don't know what a Venotomy is, it is the action used to take blood in phlebotomy and I am a big fan of blood, I'm a big fan of phlebotomy, I'm trying to study a lot of it right now so I want to make a pet themed around that. The fun thing about Neopet names is actually that you have to come up with a completely new name whenever you're doing it. So if there is already a pet named Jupiter, you cannot name your pet Jupiter. It would have to be Jupiter misspelled or something or Jupiter 12576957232. You would be absolutely shocked what kind of names are taken, okay? I've tried everything and <laughs> Venotomy is the only one that's not taken. So for me personally, the journey of customizing starts on a website called Neo Colors, which has all of the wonderful colors that you can paint your Neopets and all the species. So it makes it super easy to see and I can look through all of them with relative ease. It's really nice to have so you can select a species or a color or both. You can do an amazing, amazing job looking through everything. It's laid out so nicely and all of the developers of it are really good at updating new pet colors, so it's extremely helpful to be honest with you. It's really really hard to pick a neopet color for venotomy. I really want to go a spookier route. So there's a lot of spooky colors. You could go shadow, you could go stealthy, which is what I'm doing for Dolce. You could go transparent, you could go Halloween. There's a lot of different options. I am constantly plagued with indecision. So for venotomy, I couldn't decide which species I wanted to do. It's like every single day I wake up and I think I'm not going to have to make a decision and then I have to make another decision. I'm like, oh God, you can't be serious right now. You can't, you got to help me. Somebody has to help me here. I can't do this again. I can't make another day out of this and it happens again and again and I will continue to put myself in this situation but anyway the species that I was looking at here were Ixies. I was kind of interested in Ixies because I've never had an Ixie before. I was also kind of interested in Psy Bunnies which I will show in just a minute. There are a couple colors here which are only available by the Labre which is why I have it but let me tell you never once have I gotten one. Never once, okay? I hate that thing. That thing will rule my life. This stupid ass Labre, okay? Everything it does is to haunt me and stalk me and make me feel like I'm going insane. I swear, this is a drug. I really do like the Halloween Ixie for this custom, but I don't really think it's going to work as well as I want it to, especially with the customizations and the warmer colors. I don't really want that. But at the same time, I do really want to have an Ixie, so it's a hard choice, honestly. At first, I was like really dead set on having a Halloween Psy Bunny for this custom, but then I realized after playing around a little bit with it, the clothes don't sit as well on Psy Bunnies as they do other species. So I just kind of like, I still want to do it. I still want to figure something out, but I wish that it sat a little bit better. I wish that I felt a little bit more confident about it. So like the next best bet is Akaros, right? So the Akaros are really cute. We got Love Wins Akara. We got royal girl Akara. I don't like the royal girl as much as I wish I did, but I was kind of leaning towards the Halloween and then I realized it was just kind of like bones. It's not blood. It's not blood related. So I think like what I'm going to do here is probably going to be the transparent Akara, which means I'm going to want to start with an Akara when I first make this pet. So I'm going to try and put together an outfit for this transparent Akara on Dress to Impress. Which by the way, these are not my skills, okay? I think the only time I'm ever good at judging any kind of outfit is when it's on Neopets. If you want me to judge your outfit, you need to animate it and put it on a Neopet and then maybe I will be able to tell if it's good or not. You basically start with a completely blank pet and you can customize her as much as you want. You can put whatever you want on there. I was having so much trouble with this to be honest with you. Like, okay, I really love this red dress. I think this red dress is gorgeous but I was kind of a little bit on the fence about doing a red theme rather than something else because I feel like she's more blue toned. All of these are so cute though. I think Neopet specifically did like a fantastic job with their more gothic outfits. I think they turned out so good. DTI I feel like is so vital for making customs because like looking at this dress right here, I couldn't tell if this would look good or not by just looking at the item photo but seeing it actually on the pet is really good. It looks really nice. The only problem is it makes it like outwardly a lot harder to make a decision because if you buy something, you're gonna use it, but like when you're faced with a lot of decisions to make, it's a little bit harder. I mean, all of these dresses are really pretty. I do really like this Dye Works dress. But again, I was thinking kind of more of a purpley tone. I feel like that just goes better with the bodily thing. Even though it's not blood, it just goes really well with the transparent Akara, I would say. But it's also kind of hard because a lot of the really good gothic dresses on Neopets are red. So it's like, do I want to sacrifice that or not? 
do I want to go with the vision or do I want to go a little bit more vampy? I do want to do a vampire with it, you know? I really do want to get a little bit vampire-y with it, but I was wishing that there was a bit more of a nurse outfit because there's really not. There's no nurse outfit on Neopets and I was like, I'm going to have a blood technician. No, I'm not because they're not going to let me because they're never going to allow me because they don't love me. But maybe at some point, you know, maybe someday they'll come out with it and I'll be happy again. If, if that's a possibility neopets please hit me up i love you you're everything to me baby girl just like a nurse outfit just like a quick little nurse outfit so i could have my phlebotomist that would be so cool and while i was looking through the nc mall boards there was a random event which is nice i get to show you it this one was with an item mind control for dummies just kind of dropped from the sky it happens it happens sometimes and you can usually try and figure out how much these items cost but usually they're not worth all that much to be honest with you sometimes they're just fun or you can get a cool random event we arrive back at DTI once again. I found the most horrific, terrifying eyes I've ever seen. This got me a little bit, you know? I'm a horror movie fanatic, but damn, please stop looking at me like that. Put those peepers away. No, I don't think so. I really like the spider web dress for this. It's got a lot of purple tones to it. It looks really good on the Akara, as you can see here. It fits well. The cut's good. The cut, like I'm on what not to wear or something. Are you insane? Shut up. Searching for wigs though for this Neopet is just like the hardest part for me. It's really, have you worn figs? Will you wear wigs? Then will you wear wigs? And you know what? She is a beautiful man. A really beautiful man. <laughs> that stupid ass TikTok sound will literally never leave my mind. I don't know what he put in there. What, what that poor man put in there, but I just can't stop thinking about it. But once I put the entire custom together with this like vampire background, I think. I think we're going with the vampire background. I really like that coffin, but it's kind of hard to get, so I don't know. There's also makeup and stuff, which looks a lot better than my makeup ever will. We can see this beautiful girl come together. So, Venotomy, the yellow Akara, soon to be the transparent Akara, now exists, yay! Oh, great. <laughs> so, in the interim of collecting all of the items for Venotomy's customization, and also finalizing the design that I want, I'm gonna go ahead and give her a dress up, because I feel bad when I leave them, they're all blank and sad, that makes me upset, okay, that's upsetting to me. She's gonna be a skater boy, I think, you know, right now, Jesse Pinkman cosplay. You know, yo bitch, I'm playing Neopets. I just feel like he would. I feel like Jesse Pinkman would in fact play Neopets. I just feel it in my soul. I feel like he at least played it as a child, okay? Like, this is the skater boy that's gonna break your heart or, you know, help you out with some chemistry. Or, you know, if you're Jane, it's not gonna end well either way. Fashion icon. Now, what I really wanted to take a second to show you are all of the pets of the people who have been on Neopets a lot longer than me that I'm very lucky to call my best friends. Right now, you're viewing my amazing friend Ashley's profile. She drew all of this. This is Ashley as a fairy. That is the kind of talent that she has. She is incredible, and she's been playing Neopets for a long time. Like, the talent is insane. These are her pets. Like, we have Favira here, who is an absolute icon. I love all of her pets so much. She's put so much love and character and personality into them. We talked about Vicky earlier. This is one of Vicky's pets, Skull, who has amazing battle dome stats and one of the best customizations I've ever seen. He's everything to me, okay? This man is everything to me. Skull is an incredible cross paint between a Darigan Geller and a Stealthy Geller. Really cool, really incredible. Vicky, I love you. Your style eye is incredible. So that's pretty much what I do on Neopets in a day. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I really love this game and I put a lot of hours into it now. So this is my Neopets era, basically. Not really. I'm still going to post my normal content. But I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of my members. I appreciate you so much. Stay safe. Stay wonderful. I'll see you next time. Good. Bye.